In this tutorial, we're going to go over the ruler. So at the top, you have the horizontal ruler, and on the side, you have the vertical ruler. Now, the ruler is going to be used if you want to align things properly or if you're going to do things to scale. Now, to toggle the ruler on and off, you hit Control-R, and it will bring it back as well. Optionally, you can go up to View and go to Show Hide, and then you can turn it off there as well. Now let's go to Document Properties and select Document Properties. Under Document Properties, you can turn off the page border, and I actually do that for a lot of my drawings. Now, if we put the cursor over the ruler, you'll notice the tooltip is in pixels. If you want to change the unit of measurement, you go to Default Units, and you could switch this to anything you want. We could switch this to inches, and you'll notice if we put the tooltip over the ruler now, it's in inches. Now you can also create guides by clicking on the ruler. If you click on the horizontal ruler, that will create a horizontal guide. And if you click on the vertical ruler and drag it out, that will create a vertical guide. You can also change the colors of the guide right here. If you want to make it black or whatever color you want to use, you can do that. You can also change the highlight color. We're not going to do that. So let's close out document properties. You can also create angled guides. If you click close to the corner up here, you can drag those in and create angled guides as well. Now let's create a square object. Now over here on the right, if you select Snap Bounding Box Corners, you'll notice if we drag it, it'll automatically place it where the guidelines meet. You can also get a complete grid by hitting View and selecting Grid, and that will give you a complete grid view. You can also toggle guides on and off by selecting Guides. Now if you want to get rid of an individual guide, you can just pick up the guide and drag it back to the ruler, and it's gone. So that's pretty much it for the ruler. I hope you found this useful. And please check out the rest of my Inkscape tutorials on my YouTube channel.